cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Apa is going to make samba prawn tonight, right? Um, you can choose to use the prawn which is with or without uh, the shell. Uh, personally, I prefer to uh, I prefer the ones with shell, and usually you don't use prawn which are too big. But today, the one I'm using is one kg, about thirty eight pieces. This is half a kg here, so roughly about uh, ten over pieces here. Uh, this is the size I like the most because it is not too big, it's not too small, just the size I prefer. Uh, because sometimes prawn, if it's too big, uh, the meat tends to be a little bit more tough. Now let's take a look, let, let's take a look at the ingredient where we make the uh, sambal paste. I have some big chili here. You can use dried chili if you like, no problem. I, I like the reason why I prefer to use uh, fresh chili is because it's easier to control the spiciness for when you are using red chili. Uh, fresh chilies usually uh, big ones not spicy but if it's dried chili then a lot of the dried chilies can be quite spicy it's a bit difficult to control spiciness so therefore I tend to use fresh chili uh, mostly for when, when I make want to make sambal yeah or you can mix up to you then I have a few pieces of uh, shallot here few pieces few pieces of uh, garlic and about one tablespoon of uh, dried shrimp uh, rinse yeah and this is a yellow onion. This is not for the sambal paste, but it is for stir frying together with the prawn later. So first of all, how would you prep the prawn? Uh, today, Appa only cut off the pointy part and then remove the leg. That's it. Uh, you can remove the vein if you like, devein it, up to you. This, this prawn is not so huge. I, I, I don't mind if I don't devein the vein, yeah? Uh, but it's really up to you. So if you want to remove the shell, seriously, also up to you. But personally, I prefer to keep the shell on and then later I'm going to fry it to give it some enhanced flavor. And as a matter of fact, whenever you are cooking prawn, uh, actually I would recommend you to either cook it one round, uh, either you fry it or you uh, blanch it, because they, they, all the surface on the prawn, usually there's a little, little bit of stickiness. So that stickiness um, may uh, dilute your uh, flavors later, right? So the moment after you blanch your prawn or you deep fry your prawn, uh, not only it will remove that stickiness, it will only it will also enhance the flavor, especially with deep frying. Yeah, after you deep fry, the shell itself will give you enhanced umami flavor. So we're going to put put the chili, shell, uh, garlic, shallots, everything inside the chopper. And I don't mind putting in the dried shrimp as well. To ease the blending process, I'm going to add in some water. Close the lid. We don't need it to be too fine. Something like this consistency is good enough. Yeah, quite coarse actually. All right, next thing I'm going to deep fry the prawn, heat up some uh, oil here. You can splatter, uh, prawn contains a lot of water. <laughs> But I always prefer to fry my prawns because it really enhances the flavor for uh, the prawn itself. Actually, any seafood that contains a hard shell, uh, the moment when it has contact with hot oil, that is where the umami flavor will come. And you want to take note, when you are frying the prawn or cooking prawn, don't cook it for too long, it will, became, it will become mushy. So we are going to fry the prawn for probably about 2 to 3 minutes. Um, then we will take it up. 
This size, the prawn will get fully cooked between three to four minutes maximum. Sometimes, some of you will say, Apa, how come uh, the prawn I buy is uh, a little bit, seems like the, 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 the shell is actually a little bit sticky to the meat itself. Uh, is it not fresh? Actually, no. Uh, chances are, those prawn, when it is uh, being caught, it is in the midst of changing uh, the shell. This is why it's actually having some soft shell at that point of time. It's the same, same logic actually applies to uh, crabs. See, everything becomes, uh, this is after like one minute plus, everything curled up. And uh, I would like to have a little bit of charness. That's where the flavor will really come in. I'll give it another about one minute, then I will remove it from the hot oil. I'm not sure if you can notice the oil becoming, start to become orangey. Yeah, that is becoming the prawn oil. <laughs> Seriously. And this prawn oil is very fragrant. You can use this prawn oil to fry veggie or fried noodles. Now it's about two minutes plus, almost there. I'm going to take it out very soon. The only thing about frying uh, prawn is that uh, you don't want to over fry it and second thing is uh, the, the splattering because of the uh, moisture inside the prawn itself. Other than that, actually frying prawn is very easy because uh, you, it, you do, it won't get burned so easily. Alright, this is almost like 3 minutes. Good enough. I'm going to slowly take it out and put it on, uh, set it aside on the oil absorbing paper. All right, I'm changing to a new uh, wok here, and this is the prawn oil I used to fry uh, prawn just now. Now we can on the heat. And I don't mind adding in the sambal. So this oil is already heated, yeah? Oh, sorry, it's already flavoured with prawns. So we are going to slowly sauté this sambal using medium low heat for a couple of minutes before we continue. Yeah, we are going to cook this sambal first. Now let's season this sambal. I'm going to give it some fine salt, some sugar, some toasted balachan powder, yeah. This is optional. If you have it, put it in. If you don't have it, it's okay. Some of my cooking alpha chicken salt powder. Or even more umami flavor. For those interested, you can get it from Shopee Malaysia or Shopee Singapore. Recently, Appa did a, a, we sent it for lab test. The protein inside is actually double than most of the brands out there. I think mainly it's because we use real chicken. <laughs> And let's give it some light soy sauce. Now we can slowly raise the heat a bit. Still don't use too high heat, yeah? So we are going to saute this for a couple of minutes. And like I mentioned, don't you don't have to make this until too fine, yeah? Don't don't blend your chicken or uh, chicken pula. Don't blend your chili until too fine. Actually, mine is a little bit fine if you ask me. Alright, keep on stirring. 
for the next about three to five minutes. If you find it too dry, feel free to add a little bit more oil. And uh, you can uh, you put in a little bit more uh, sugar if you like, really up to you. Personally, for me, I prefer it to be a little bit sweeter. And as you can see from here, the color gets darker and darker. More and more uh, beautiful reddish color is coming out. And then we are getting the reddish oil as well. This is the time, this is up about four, between four to five minutes. Almost done. My sambal is basically ready. This is the time we are going to put in the prawns. As well as the yellow onion. Why I put the yellow onion? Because I try to clear my fridge. <laughs> Alright, now we just give it a few stir. Our prawn is already fully cooked, yeah? Just give it a few stir, then it is done. Oh, look at the beautiful reddish color. Whenever you want to make sambal, this is how you want to do it. You want the reddish color to come out, and you don't want it to be too spicy. Lah, because you do, you do need to cook for the whole family, right? Of course, for those who want to have more kicks, you can add in some chili padi. Yeah? Feel free to do so. Alright! Our samba prawn is ready. Done. I'm going to move them over to the serving plate. Don't worry about a little bit more oil, a little bit more oily on this dish, seriously. Don't worry about it. Alright, so this is uh, cooking Appa's samba prawn. Give it a try and tell me how you think. I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.